What's up everybody, welcome back to York Reacts, and today we're going to be checking out the new Unity trailer, and this is for a real-time kind of sequence. Now, some of you, some of my viewers might not know what this is, but basically what it is is... It's a 3D computer program that is running in real-time, which means it's running um, <laughs> live, and most likely there will be an actor who is hooked up to a motion capture suit, they're moving around doing their thing, uh, the environment, everything in the environment is created in 3D. So um, this is a new trailer to showcase some of the best stuff that they're doing right now in real time in the program called Unity. So um, I'm excited to check it out. I do uh, animation for games for a living, so this is right up my alley. I'm excited to take a look at this, so uh, let's check it out. Oh, wow. First of all, right out the gate, it looks like mist. Um, I'm loving the feel of this. Unity presents. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, this is nice. This looks really good. God, to think this is all real time environment. This looks beautiful. Is that a live actor? It looks like a live actor. Guess we'll see. I love the Greek statues and the oof. They're pulling on all the right strings. <laughs> it's nice. See, it looks a little weird there. Up in the corner. I have in my head Ooh, everything that. that anyone has ever known. You have in that's your incredible. Heart. Yeah, that's Everything a 3D character, but wow. Anyone's ever felt. Look at the dress, the outfit, and the. Oof. I mean, you can tell from the hair Power. it's not real and a couple other things, but. Is given only to those who dare to lower themselves. Yeah, pick this it is up. nice. Ooh, I love the gravity feel of this right now. Ooh. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Okay. I I got to give it to the guys over there at Unity, uh, the guys that are working on this. This is looking really good. Now, they're, they're competing with Unreal at this point, right? The Unreal Engine. And um, this is something that I think is really prevalent nowadays in the industry and it's going to change everything it's slowly changing everything the way films are made and the way games are made and um, doing things in real time it just speeds up the whole process and it <laughs> somehow or sometimes eliminates jobs that i do right so <laughs> but i'll always have a job i feel but the the technology that's changing nowadays is changing that aspect right everybody slowly has to evolve and change and, and get better at different things in order to mold with the times. And the times are changing. And a good example of this is, is some of these scenes here. Like, um, for instance, one of my favorite parts here is when she's like grabbing the chess pieces right here. This looks phenomenal. I, have I love in my head like the, everything the animation on the wanted. fingers. Everything looks really nice. You can tell that they went in and spent a lot of time on that part of it. and. The only part that feels a little weird is in the middle and the separation of the... That's why I thought it was an actor, and I think a lot of people that watch this are going to think it's an actor <laughs> instead of, like, a human until it gets close. And that's because the outline of, like, her hair and different parts, just the lighting doesn't look right to the environment. You can kind of tell that she's not there. So that's the only, like, dead giveaway. Never known. But... It looks so good. Like right here, her fingers and all this stuff looks incredible. You have in your heart everything. And One thing that 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 um, caught my eye that I kind of noticed immediately that it wasn't a real human is that when she's talking, there's no, there's not a lot of movement in her in her throat and her neck area, and that was a part that I felt was like. Uh, 
dead a little bit, and that's why you could you could tell. But it still looks so good. How? Like, look at that. Look at the. Oof. Is it given only the to lips those and animation and stuff like that, and that's themselves. really well done too. And I'm Pick it. I'm wondering Pick it. if all that is real time, like if there's a person talking and it's all mo capped in the face as well, real time, because. <laughs> That's pretty good as well. That's getting some of these things are looking really nice, and like I said, slowly eliminating my job. <laughs> wow, I love the lighting right here. Ooh, look at that! Oh, yeah, that looks incredible. She gives that serious look at the the end here, and this this scene here just looks really, really, really nice. It looks real. Like the hair looks a little off, but other than that, this looks pretty real. You know, a few years ago, there was this thing about the uncanny valley, they call it, which is like some of these 3D characters that were created, you could you could always tell. And they're, they're still on that line, they're still, but they're getting so close. And it's, it's getting to a point where I would say in five years, maybe 10 years, you won't be able to tell. You won't be able to tell at all. It'll, it'll completely fake you. Um, we're reaching there. I'm excited for this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This is a this is a different you know topic for some of my normal viewers, but to me this is a topic I I you know am very passionate about, and this is what I do day to day on my job. And so um, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts and what you think about how this is going to change things for you as a viewer and and you know and so forth. So um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stayed this long, you'll uh, maybe check out some of the other ones. Um, thank you for coming along. See you in the next one, guys. Peace.